Nice work on the right side of the line by the Ohio University Bobcats. Yeah, that uh, hole wide open, and uh, this drive, just what Coach Bryant wanted. He wanted to go down and establish the short passing game. He's mixed it up with the run, and like we said, that would open up the run, and that's exactly what happened. L.D. Hartman made the tackle on that play. He had 13 tackles last week in ball, against Ball State, and as we mentioned, uh, and he is the number seven tackler in the MAC, and Massimiani is the number one tackler, but he has yet to make a stop today. OU wasting no time and marching down the field on their first possession inside the five with the first down. Pitch goes back to Greer. And Greer is stopped, but keeps his momentum going forward down to the one-yard line. As the Bobcats eat closer, and Scott, if Ohio does punch it in, that might not be a good sign for OU. In their home games in the conference, they've gotten out to the lead first, only to blow it in the second half. Yeah, they played great first halves of football. They've been a first half, second half team, where you have a Kent State team who just plays a good game, then a bad game. Uh, they put together the full 60 minutes. Kent State has, Ohio hasn't really uh, done that all this year. That time on the play, Andrew Greer looked for a block from Wayne Smith, his big fullback. He didn't know whether or not he could make the corner, so he pulled it up for some positive yardage. Second down from the one-yard line on homecoming 1989 at Ohio University, and the Bobcats looking to get on the board first. They give us to Mobley, and that's a touchdown for Ohio University. Well, a real impressive drive, Bob, for Ohio. Uh, once again, Mobley going over that left side of the line. Ohio likes to use that option attack in short yardage. Kent State a little confused on the play. A couple of their secondary men, Keith Younger and uh, Dan Ramsey, jumping around at the line. They weren't sure of their assignments on the play, and Ohio's on the board early here, 6 to nothing. Something that helped Ohio University out on that drive. Throwing on first down. Cleve Bryant did it twice. That gets the tough linebackers of Kent State thinking fast. And then when you go to the run, it gives them a little bit more room to work with. So Ohio comes out aggressively and avoids their conservativeness that's uh, haunted this team really in the past. And they get the first downs, move it down the field. And now Grombacher to make it a 7-0 Ohio lead. And it is good. So Ohio University, or excuse me, Jim Delvern, of course, punches it through. And Ohio goes up early. Once again, with great field position to start their drive. 18-yard return for Hargrove, first and 10. The Bobcats came off throwing on the first possession. We'll see if they keep it in the air. Last week, they threw well against Miami, but in the second half, kind of abandoned that passing attack. Split down to the bottom of your screen is Mark Treblick. He's a senior wide receiver, a little guy, only 5'6", but had a nice game against Miami last week. They'll keep it on the ground with Greer, and Greer goes up the gut into Kent State territory. Andrew Drew on the carry. The Golden Flash is putting seven men in the line of scrimmage that Andrew time, Andrew trying to plug some holes as Ohio goes with their uh, secondary receiver group now. So Ohio keeps it on the ground. Andrew Greer last year rushed for over 800 yards in the early season, Scott. They really didn't feature Greer, but in the last couple of weeks, they've gone back to their money man. Yeah, Andrew Greer's really came on as the years progressed. Uh, Danny Griffith, the man who had 115 yards last year against Kent, a, full, a senior fullback, hasn't seen the ball. Uh, much this year, we'll see uh, if he gets some action later on today as Ohio looks like they're going to be called for illegal procedure on the play. Ohio switched into a pro set backfield and they did not get set for it. It looks like that one second, the whistle blows immediately and it's going to be illegal procedure against Ohio. No march them back five yards. Ohio is a team that's no stranger to <laughs> penalties, of course. Uh, they've committed 59 penalties on the air for almost 560 yards which uh, comes out to almost 100 yards a game, Bob, and uh, that's something Coach Bryan definitely wants to turn around. Well, all year he talked about if we can control our turnovers and control our penalties and not beat ourselves, we have a good opportunity to win some football games, but Ohio hasn't done that. They've had some penalties in crucial situations. If you remember back to the bowl.